There we go. Driving. Cool. Now you can see, uh, whose car is this? I believe this might be Dimitri's we're looking at right now. Everyone, almost everyone Very is using the rally car, huh? Yeah. I think, uh, yeah, I think, I don't, I don't see, I, there might be a buggy out there, but it looks like everyone's using the rally cars. That, that one looked more like a duster than a rally car. Yeah. So Alex, tell us about MotorStorm. So MotorStorm is this game where it's sort of like the post-apocalyptic future. Uh, and someone decides that, like, hey, Burning Man is really awesome, and so is rally racing, so let's make them, uh... Oh! That's, oh, uh, yeah, see, that's, that's gonna leave a mark. Uh, let's turn them all into one what thing, and then, uh, yeah, so there's, like, all these weird cutscenes of, uh, crazy ravers hanging out in the middle of the desert while cars go whizzing by and wrecking each other. Awesome. Yeah. But where's the post-apocalyptic future part working into it? Whoa, first person! I mean, all the cars just look like they came out of the post-apocalypse, so... You know, they're all kind of busted. Sure. Does everyone have like skull masks and stuff and spikes for shoulder pads? Yeah, uh, you know, they got weird paint stuff on their helmets. They all look kind of kind of mean spirited. Yeah, you know, sure, it's, sure. It's, it's kind of. So we're looking. Uh, I think this is this is not Dimitri's car. No, this no. is a little messed up. We're watching Brent right now. Brent's in first place uh, in this first lap. The, now, Alex, the wh team. which do you prefer uh, to to race? Uh, what mode do you like? Do you like the camera backed out? You like it up close like this? For I like the up close when I'm driving the bikes, just because it's like right over your shoulder, like it's all RE4 style, and mm -hmm. it looks like really intense. But when I'm driving, I find this one a little bit distracting with the cars. Brent has no fear right now. None. Just None. bopping He's just right barreling along. forward right Do you want to know how we decided uh, which of the four, which four of the ten semifinalists would be here? Uh, they're the four fastest times. Yes. For the, se for the semifinals. Um, Brent was actually, uh, had the slowest time of all four of these guys. Look at him right now, though. He's, he's, he's cruising. Is there any sort of, uh, is, there, is it easy to catch up in this game? Is it easy to get, get lost in this yeah, game? Yeah, I mean, all it takes is someone, you know, taking one jump the wrong way or one turn the wrong way, and then it's just, you know, lights out for him. You can just pass right by him. So basically, whoever runs the most falls. Oh, look at that, right there. there. Someone just jumped right in. Nice. That is Jake right there, taking first place. Look at that. He, he's not using the, you know, he's not using the, the cockpit No, he likes, cam, he likes the zoomed out view just like I do. It's, I, I prefer it. Also, he gets a little more, you know, a little more view of the scenery, I think. You know, you get to see more of it. Uh, he's even taking time to look over his shoulder there. Jake, don't you know you are driving on a cliff? <laughs> don't listen to me, Jake. You keep yeah, driving. Don't, don't, yeah. Yeah, you don't need to talk to us. We're <laughs> going to talk to you. Invisible wall right here. Yeah. Invisible wall behind us. So, We're talking uh, to you in the figurative sense. Yes. The, uh, oh, there's all, your, there's all your ravers up there on the cliff. Yeah, well, they're just hanging out. Yeah. Seems like it might be a little bit dangerous, but you know, whatever. Now, uh, now this is Rain God Mesa. Obviously, we're up above. Later on, we're gonna get down and dirty and some mud and stuff. Indeed. Some, see some good motor storm effects. Yeah, a lot of the the mud really is like the best thing about this game. Just the way you know you're driving through the mud pits and it just sort of like you can see the tire treads just con consistently deforming it. We're on the last lap right now, Jake, with a substantial lead looking over his shoulder right there. I think that's uh, that's. That might no still looking be back, man. Him. Just go straight hey, on forward. Don't tell the dude how to run, man. He's <laughs> he's he's here. He's yeah. going for a thousand dollars. If him looking over the shoulder makes him wreck beautifully, right. then you know yeah, right. that's There's his fault that. in our game. All right, we're enough. not encouraging accidents here, but we like them. I wonder how the other guys are doing. I wonder if they're uh, they're close by. If Let's see. Right. Now now this is a second place car. Uh, we don't know who, who it is exactly. Yeah, I'm not sure which one that is. It's Aaron. Aaron. Aaron's Aaron. in second place right now. Where'd Brent go? He's close Brent? Aaron, Brent, Brent Aaron is catching up. It's got to be frustrating to know that there's a dude right there just mere seconds ahead of you. Getting that inside edge on the $1,000. He's got to be careful with that boost, though. He's getting, uh, he's getting near the edge there. So what, what, explain the boost meter to whoever you're The boost meter uh, builds up, like, you know, you can just kind of hold it down for a, a good while there, but if it gets down to, like, the uh, the very edge of the, the top there, if it, if it goes over, you explode. Really? You explode? You explode? Your, your car explodes. Awesome. Here comes Aaron trying to make a move. Oh! oh. oh no. He's not letting by. He's not, that, that's he's not going good, down without a fight. That's a good, good defensing drive by uh, one shirt of Jake right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so oh, wrong. here comes Aaron trying to make oh, a move. Oh! oh Robbie oh. is racing. Wow. Cutting underneath the helicopter, the helipad, and there's oh, that, is is that oh, the oh, oh, but Jake coming back! Oh, he explodes! He takes it! Nice! Awesome! That okay? No, I lied. That's the best part of the game is that you can just explode it's, over the finish line. It's still line. across the finish line. Jake in first place there, four minutes twenty-three seconds, forty-six hundredths of a second behind was was Aaron right there. That was pretty rude. That, that was, it, was very rude. So so get, I'm guessing what happened right there is uh, Jake just slammed on the boost and exploded yeah, anyways, and, just and exploded and right just across. Yeah, because it propels you forwards usually, so it's you know it's not a awesome. bad tactic to use.